Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel Captain SQ where we're going to discuss on airbus systems, emergency procedures and supplementary techniques on how to fly the plane. Alright, as a disclaimer over here, always refer to your company manuals and this video is merely a guide. And also do smash the like button and subscribe. The algorithm gods told me that if you do that, you will be a better pilot. So okay, let's dive in. As you can see, the water tank is located at the aft cargo compartment behind the wall. The tanks are pressurized from the aircraft bleed systems via the engines or the APU. And the water is used in the toilet as well as the galley. The quantity of water can be viewed on the forward service attendant panel or the FAP. The water is then filled up or drained at the water service panel located at the rear side, left hand side of the aeroplane. The water from the sink or galley is drained overboard by two drain masks and both of these drain masks are heated. So what happens to the waste in the toilet bowl? When you press the flush button, the electrical signal is sent to the flush control unit and it checks the aeroplane's current altitude. On the ground and in flight below 16,000 feet, the differential pressure is created by the vacuum generator. The waste is then being sucked and stored in a waste tank. The vacuum system controller or VSC coordinates the flushing sequence, controls the vacuum generator and sends signals to the FAP to indicate waste levels. And that is when you know that the aircraft is full of you know what and if there's any defects the vsc the vacuum system controller also sends signals to the centralized fault detection system or cfds and that's it for now a320 water waste system please do smash the like button and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video